So we are Obvious, we are a collective of three friends and artists and we work with artificial intelligence to create art. So the idea is that we take algorithms that are available uh, in science and in research and we use them to make artistic creations and also to talk about uh, artificial intelligence. We are working in, uh, in that field for five years now. Uh, we have been kind of famous for the sales of an artwork uh, for half a million dollars at Christie's in 2018. And si since then we are exploring uh, all the use of AI in the creativity. So first of all in the fine art and more generally in all the creatives. And uh, our, basically we wanted to work with artificial intelligence to create art because uh, it asks a lot of questions, uh, notably uh, can an algorithm be uh, creative or inventive. Uh, what is the uh, the role of the of the tool in the artistic process? And we think that uh, those philo philosophical questions are uh, really uh, really really interesting to tackle uh, using AI because uh, it's uh, a continuity of uh, all the questions that have been asked in art uh, through uh, paintings, sculpture, photography, and uh, all of the different uh, artistic movements. of the, the name, uh, it was first of all because it's really hard to find a, a name when you're three people uh, working together, uh, but we, we finally agreed on the name, uh, obvious because uh, we create art uh, which uh, everyone can relate to, uh, we created uh, classical portraits, we created uh, African masks, so we use basically the, 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 the existing art movements, the, the most famous ones, and we offer a new interpretation of it uh, using AI algorithms. And we try to, to make the subjects of artificial intelligence obvious. I think basically uh, we don't really have a proper knowledge on how uh, AI can be understood as an art creative uh, process. But uh, through our journey, uh, we first asked some questions and now we have some answers, I think. Um, basically, uh, for instance, on the fact that is an algorithm uh, creative or not when we do our work? And the final answer is more that uh, algorithms are not creative because creativity is uh, a trait of the human. And you won't say that, uh, for instance, a dog is creative. And so really a uh, human characteristic. And so we tend to say that algorithms are inventive and that we use their inventiveness uh, to, uh, to work with our creativity. Yeah, more generally, when we, when we create with AI, uh, what we see is that uh, the algorithms are not capable of uh, creating uh, all by themselves, and they need some guidance, and they need, uh, for example, some intention. And so the intention uh, comes from the artist uh, behind the algorithm. So uh, in order to create a whole artistic pro process, you, you need more than just an algorithm and you need uh, someone behind it and someone who wants to, to send out a message. So it's more of a, of a tool, really. The, the question that people ask us every time is, so who is the artist? Is that you or is that the algorithm? So thanks to what Hugo and Gauthier just talked about, you can see that obviously we are the artist, like the, we are f like photographers with a very specific and very futuristic tool in our hands. But what matters in photography or in AI creation is your message, the way you use the, the tool, your comprehension of the tool, and finally, uh, your, yeah, what you talk about and what you want to bring to the people. And also, yes, something interesting with uh, these algorithms is that you can 
uh, easily creates being uh, three different people. Uh, because, for example, if we had to paint uh, three of us on a canvas, maybe it would be harder to agree on something uh, to paint. And having this uh, fourth uh, entity uh, allows us to, to take a step back and uh, mostly be uh, like kind of curators of the creation. And this is something that is uh, easy to do when we are, we are three uh, people. We plan to split. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> no, we so, yeah, yeah. Uh, the idea for the future of Obvious is to uh, continue creating art that is a reinterpretation of uh, artistic movement. So that's one of the lines that we uh, uh, that we intend to uh, continue. We are also experimenting with new stuff and trying to find our own uh, our own approach. And uh, so we have this uh, this beginning with uh, different series that we are pursuing at the moment, more abstract stuff, on uh, more uh, more different stuff. And then we also really want to have uh, impactful projects in different uh, creative industry that may be gastronomy, fashion, car design, and very different uh, type of uh, creative industries where we want to be able to be the first to uh, put uh, AI in a meaningful way uh, for the, the artistic creation uh, in those in those fields. Thank you. Thanks. The exhibition Faces of AGI and the conference of the group Obvious here in the Fine Art and Design Faculty uh, is closing a big project developed by West University from Timisoara called the New Paradigms in uh, Fine Arts and Design. In this way, we are uh, strengthening the idea that uh, in the West University, the culture is capital and we are trying to develop more and more the artistic and cultural events here in Timisoara and also abroad. Thank you very much. <laughs>